So Long Island is a very big place. We're gonna zero in on one Long Island accent here. And the person that I studied to bring these tips to you was a Yiddish as a first language speaker. So her lip corners were very tight and the back of her tongue was very high so that a lot of sounds became nasalized. So if you sigh through this oral posture, you get ha. Ah, you hear that, that very, very nasal sound. Go for that one. The aw sound in thought, cost, dog, becomes thor, cost, door, comes a diphthong, two elements, aw, aw, aw. I thought it was going to be horrible. I thought it was going to be horrible. I kind of pretend like my nails are drying to get really into this accent. I thought it was going to be horrible. There are no R's at the ends of some words, so there, care, player, try that. The T sound becomes almost like a T sound. So, Sony takes his time going to Long Island. Sony takes his time, t -t -t -t. hear that? So, what's the musicality of this accent? Well, it's very nasalized, so that affects some of the way the words are pronounced. So, words like apartment become apartment. So there's no T, it's apartment, all through the nose. There's a lot of pitch variety in this accent. There's a lot of up glides at the ends of thoughts. But don't take my word for it. Go listen to some native Long Islanders, Long Islanders, and work on your Long Island accent that way. Train your ears, train your eyes, and train your tongue. <laughs>